Hello children, hope you all are doing good. Here is your Hema mom to teach you how to make a handmade sock puppet using simple materials. Okay, let's move on to it. The needed materials are one sock, a scissor, a stapler, a fabric coil, and to make the eyes for the puppet, you can take any of these kind of things from your toys, or you can use a bindi which your mom uses, which should be quite bigger to make sure that the eyes are visible, and also we need cardboard or chart paper like this but it should be quite thicker than a paper or a chart paper because this is going to be giving the stiffness to move the mouth of the puppet so it should be quite strong I have taken this piece from this box this the top part of the box I have taken so like this you can take anything but it should be quite thicker like a cardboard in the same cardboard, you can make it as a small piece to use it for a tongue. Let's start the process. First, what you need to do is, you'll take the sock. This is the open side. And where you will have your toe, this side you need to cut. There will be a line, right? So there you will be cutting it. So now this part is open now we need to attach this cardboard inside of this sock so what we need to do first we need to fold this cardboard into half so like this you will be folding it if it is too bigger you can cut it off So once you fold it, it will be like this and what you need to do, you need to fold it in a reverse manner like this. So first you will fold like this and then you will make it into back side. Now we are going to keep this inside the sock. So where we have cut the sock, inside that you will be keeping this. This part should be going inside like this. So once it is inside, you need to stick it all over. Like this, you need to stick it. All these corners, you will have to stick it. Using a favicol. So what you will do, to the cardboard you will keep the favicol. Because if you keep it to the sock, it will not be able to stick properly. So you will keep the favicol to the cardboard. In the corners both the sides and now you're going to cover this with the sock like this So you need to cover it up. Basically it is preferred to use Fevi Bond which is uh, available in the stationery shops which you can use it instead of this Fevi Because as it is a sock 
to the cardboard and all whatever thing we are sticking it is best to use a fevi bond but as of now it is not available so i'm using the fevi core if it is available you can use the fevi bond which is easier to stick it We are done with sticking this. So now the mouth part is ready to close and open. The mouth part is ready. Now we are going to make the eyes, nose, tongue and everything. So for that, I have a small piece of paper here. We can use this for eyebrows and tongue and nose also. So for eyes, I have these toys with me which I'm going to stick now. What it is not necessary that you need to make it only this kind of toys. Whichever is available, you can use that. The thing is, it should be good to see the eyes properly. So we want to stick it. One more. The other side. So now the eyes are done. Now let's use this paper for eyebrows and nose. So you can cut it into a thin size. This much of size is enough. And you will cut it into smaller piece. To this much. To this much for the eyebrow. Like this. Like this. So we will cut another one. So, for both eyebrows, we have cut these small pieces. Now, we will stick it. For these eyebrows and nose, you can use any color paper, whatever is available to you. It is up to you, the color which you use and all. when you stick it, it should be on the top of the eye, like this, one more, for the other eye, So eyebrows are done, eyebrows are done, now the other piece is there, so we can use that for nose, if you want you can cut this into shape of nose. A small one, we can stick it now for nose make sure you stick it in the center like this so nose is ready nose is ready now I have told you that another small piece is there from that cardboard. We can cut it into quite thin piece and we can use it for tongue. If 
even for this you can use the same the color paper which we used for eyebrows and nose or else if you have this kind of papers also you can use it so first see how much length you want so how we have to stick is the corner part should be inside to stick and the rest of the part should be down so i'm going to stick this much so i'm going to take till here so how much ever you want accordingly according to the size you can cut it off so i'm going to stick like this so i am using the gum here now little gum only to the corner and also inside a little gum inside now we'll stick this so this is how it will be for the tongue so once you stick it you will fold this part you will be folding this part so why we ask you to use fairy bond means it is not that much proper when you use fairy coil because it is a sock and whatever we are using is a paper or a cardboard so it is quite difficult for the things to get stuck so it is good to use fairy bond if not you can try first time with the fairy coil whatever uh, thing you have at home when you get to find those fairy bond at that time you can make use of that so now the tongue is ready make sure you stick it properly like this so now eyes eyebrows nose and tongue is ready for ears for ears i have a thread with me or whatever you have the thread or what you want to stick as ears whatever shape or size it's your wish so i am going to use this thread so we can fold it into small small pieces like this like three foldings i've done so we'll cut here and we will stick it i asked you to take a stapler because it is quite a thick thread so i'm using stapler to staple it here if you have cello tip it is good to use cello tip to stick the ears so keep it over here and i'm going to staple it like this for the other side also we'll do it the same we fold and cut <clears throat> and the same way to the other side if you are using any thin size of thread you sell out of this is good as it is thicker i'm using the stapler make sure you stick everything properly because you will be moving it continuously so it should not be like uh, we cannot open the mouth part or something 
and if you have marker or something you can give a colors if it is plain you can give colors like this even for eyebrows you can give colors it is up to you that how you decorate it there is nothing compulsory that uh, you have to stick only this paper you have to use only this color nothing like that whatever is available and how much ever creatively you want to make your puppet that is your wish and you can make it up like that so now our puppet is ready with all the parts so we have eyes nose eyebrows ears and tongue so once you are done with it use your hand to keep inside so use that this part to keep your hand inside so when you when you are, you are stapling it i mean the ears make sure that you do it at the very corner part because if you staple it here or near eyebrows and all it is difficult to put your hand inside properly so make sure you staple it in the corner so that your hands will not get stuck when you're keeping it inside so now here we are stretch it completely the sock so here is your puppet let's all say hi hello so when you talk using the puppet your elbow should be up and your wrist part should be down because all we have stuck here if you keep like this the eyes nose and all will not be visible so make sure wrist is wrist this part is still down and the rest of the part is up like this so when you talk you can talk like hello this is hey ma start with telling your names something practice with that i'm my name is hema so i'm going to pronounce my letters like h e m a hema so like that you can practice different uh, words different uh, voices you can use as we all know the four kinds of voices we learned from our gate class and you can use that and i want you to practice with it once you make it and don't be very particular in things that whatever i use that only you need to use you can be more creative and you can do however you want your puppet as it's your wish to make it more creative and in more different way than this it's the basic thing i have done if you want you can do it as your wish see you children please take care of yourselves stay home study well with whatever work you have and use it do it and enjoy the talking using your puppet your own puppet thank you